Hi, I just uh, wanted to show you in this Message Magic uh, Skype tips uh, video what it's like to uh, apply some of the things that we've been talking about in the Message Magic webinars on Tuesdays. And that would be to go to your Skype groups once you found that um, a person is in the wrong group. <laughs> Uh, let me let me give you a little background. I sent a uh, let me see if I can if I can demonstrate this. <laughs> I sent a uh, I'm, I had moved all of my contacts from ungrouped to previous contacts and uh, sent all of my previous contacts, which is basically used to be my ungrouped people, right? They were not in any of my groups my targeted similar interest groups um, and so I sent them all just day ha happy holidays with the first name tag so it had their first name and it said happy holidays and many of them responded I found one um, that uh, I already had marked I had renamed her in message magic I'm gonna go ahead and show this and and this is it, in case he doesn't mind. Um, I had sent out this Happy Holidays first name, and uh, you can see it used her name. And here I had already renamed her with MM on it using this rename feature. Um, I added MM because I knew that she's in Message Magic. And um, so she doesn't need to be in previous contacts, she really needs to be which you know is the old ungrouped where I'm just building a relationship with them first to find out what we have in common I'm gonna move her or I did move her to the um, to the message magic group here so the way I did that was um, I found her in previous contacts by doing a search down here at the bottom for on her name. I use this for a different kind of a search <laughs> and uh, it's it found her no problem and I just simply grabbed her first you have to in order to show your groups again you have to actually get rid of this word down here that helped me find her and she should stay open and uh, I just uh, well I've already moved her let me see how do I show you this I put her in the message magic group. Um, there she is. Now what I did was I just simply right clicked her and, to and t I got to get the video down now. I right clicked on her name and told, oh you still can't see it, hang on. Okay, I right clicked on her name and had an option to remove her from she was in the previous contacts group. Now she's in the message magic group. So if I move, remove her from there and uh, drag her, um, she's probably now in my in the in ungrouped. <laughs> there plus one. Yeah, that's she's gone into the ungrouped. So I'm gonna drag her. First, I had moved her to the um, because she was in ungrouped. contact. I had uh, dragged her up to previous contacts. Then I sent uh, this happy holidays message um, first name <laughs> tag to all my previous contacts just to see how many of them would respond just to build the relationship and see that um, Casey who I already had marked as an MM member was in that group and she shouldn't have been. So um, this is how I moved her into the message magic group. I went to where she is, previous contacts. Where did she go? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. 
she's here somewhere. KC. There. Okay. So I'm right clicking on her name, having re realized that she's in the previous contacts group and should be in the message magic group. This is exactly what we want to do. We want to build a relationship with the previous contacts by just chatting with them in general, not by sending them any kind of invitation to join something, etc. Otherwise known as an ad and perceived as per unfortunately perceived as spam. So we're building a relationship. I'm getting a response and I'm moving her to the appropriate group. So um, having to move the video down again so that you can see this, um, I'm right clicking on her name and removing her from the previous contacts group. And uh, I had previously moved her to the message magic group. Um, you can do that from your main Skype menu or if you happen to have a chat open with her, with the person who you're chatting with, which you should be, then um, you can see the nice little chat we had there. Thanks, Julie. Um, that was in response to Happy Holidays. I said, my pleasure, glad to help, have a happy day. And um, then I can simply drag her over. Let's see, I've got to move this whole thing over here so you can see it. Okay, there she is, and I'm dragging her by grabbing the blue bar, her blue bar, and moving her to the message magic group. Now, if you can see that in the background, but it's highlighting. See that when I when I go over that group, message magic, and I'm just left holding left mouse key down and letting go which drops her there into message magic which I will demonstrate by showing you that she's now in this group ta da she is now in the message magic group Casey Tenney so that is a perfect example of putting, um, using Skype groups and using message magic to move them into more targeted groups, more appropriate groups. Uh, that's an example of how you do it. I just had sent out that happy holiday first name to everybody in my previous contacts, which was my, my ungrouped. <laughs> and discovered that I had somebody who was in there who shouldn't have been and I moved him into the correct group once I discovered what it was that we have in common. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video.